Danny AR10 here. Uh, just wanted to shoot a quick video on some uh, new toys I've got for uh, Father's Day. Uh, it's not really just about that. I want to also rant about a couple things and uh, talk about a couple features I discovered. Oh, a feature I found on the 3GS. Some Nintendo DSi tidbits and uh, let's get right into it. Uh, first, uh, my wife recently surprised me for Father's Day with a Nikon D40 SLR. Look at that. Been wanting one of these for the longest time. Uh, I've been shooting, a lot of you guys have been asking me what I shoot my video with. Uh, actually, I have two ways of shooting my videos. And I'll show you guys right now. Uh, the first is my kind of my up close shots, the ones I do my reviews with my hands. Uh, and those I do with my uh, Canon SD1000. It's a small little pocket camera, it's real small, but it's, it's real nice. Uh, 7.1 megapixel, does what I need it to, very steady. Uh, don't know what I'll be doing with this, because got that bad boy. And you're asking, well, that doesn't shoot video. Well, it doesn't shoot video. Uh, it shoots great pictures. But for video, uh, you guys see my reviews that I do on gameplay on my video games. And I shoot that with my Kodak. Kodak ZI6 HD camera. Shoots great video. Love it. Uh, I throw it on my tripod, which also came with a bundle. I used to shoot it with this piece of crap. Little mini tripod, 6 inch. And my digital cam oh the Nikon D40 came with a little kit which gives me this Targus much more sturdier should give me better perspective on my video reviews and this is a 12 inch it comes out a lot more but I'm not gonna bother opening it so that's a nice little thing and uh love the camera I've been wanting one for a while uh a lot of you guys see all this stuff I'm getting a lot of a lot of questions from people asking me how do I afford all this stuff am I rich uh, by no means rich, guys. I mean, I work as a TSA, Transportation Security uh, Officer at a at a airport, and my wife makes a good living. She's a paralegal. She, you know, she does her thing. We uh, but we're by no means rich, you know. I spend the money that I do get for myself on the electronics that I enjoy, and that's my hobby. I don't blow it on drinking. I don't go out clubbing. I don't do none of that stuff. I'm 24 years old. I have a little daughter to take care of, so I focus on my technology. So, a lot of you guys send me those emails. I want to answer those questions and uh, the video games. I do a lot of trade-ins for games that I no longer use you know, anymore. So, you know, I keep a majority of the library games that I do like, but the rest of them get traded in for new games. So, just want to answer that question because I seem to be getting it a lot. Uh, another thing uh, she got me, which is something that I knew I got because I needed it, was a. My book, uh, one terabyte USB external drive. I had a iOmega 500 gigabyte drive, which completely not crapped out on me. It's been giving my iMac a lot of problems, been causing a lot of random shutdowns. Um, so I thought, until I recently found out, it was my battery backup. I have an aluminum iMac, which has been giving me a lot of problems, and I just traced it down to my battery backup. I have way too many things hooked up to it. It's only a 550 VA, and it was juiced up way too much, so took out a couple things, plugged them straight into outlets, and haven't had a shutdown in about two days. So that was the problem. Pretty sure of it. Um, another thing, I think I discovered a new feature on the 3GS that no one has really posted about or talked about. Maybe I've been out of the loop for a while, but there it is. 3GS Griffin reveal. Love this case. Uh, I figured out a new option, which is I don't know if you guys can see that. You can enable the a percentage meter for the battery. I don't know how how good you guys are getting that, but right next to the battery is a percentage icon now, which is great because I hate guessing how much battery I have left and waiting till I'm at 20%. Now I know, and this is only to the 3GS because I tried doing it on my little brother's 3G, and you enable it by going into the settings, you go to general, you go to usage, and then at the top it'll have a little slider that says enable. Uh, percentage battery percentage flip that on there you go I think I'm one of the first people to get that maybe I'm just not in the loop uh, but yeah I will be doing some more app reviews for you guys on the 3GS uh, comparing speeds between the two 
if I can get my hand on uh, another 3G. I think my cousin might let me borrow his for some reviews. But uh, I'll get more on that. Uh, also, I'm going to have something on my DSi. Uh, mostly because I was recently introduced to... I have a lot of games. But this lets me have a lot more games. And it's an Ace Card 2i. I don't know if you guys have heard about it. A lot of you guys might not condone it. Oh, it's pirating. It's... I mean... A lot of the games that I have on it, I already have. But I don't like carrying around the cartridges with it. It basically lets you carry the games on a micro SD card. And there's my DSi. I mean... I take it everywhere with me. And it's a good way for me to have, not have to carry all the games with me. And you can put music on it. And I'll get more in-depth as to what that does at another time. Uh, and I want to talk about some reviews I have coming up. I will be picking up uh, The Conduit for the Wii tomorrow which is supposed to be the next big online shooter. Uh, the first real big online shooter for the Wii. And supports Wii Speak, which I'm excited about. So I'll be doing a review on that in the next couple days after I've had some time playing with it. And that'll be coming soon. Uh, what else? Covered the My Book, which really needed. Uh, covered the 3GS, the Nikon D40, which I love. Uh, DSi. And I think I have a couple more games. Oh, the EA Active. I have an EA Active review that should be up by, if not tonight, tomorrow. I want to get it uploaded tonight, but I have so many videos. And I just got home from work not too long ago. So I'll be working on that. Uh, let me know what you guys think about computer game reviews. I've been playing a lot of computer games on my, excuse me, on my MacBook, aluminum MacBook. I installed Boot Camp on it. And I have quite a few games that run pretty well on it. I've, I'm surprised actually. I've recently purchased Team Fortress 2 through Steam. Runs excellent. Highest quality settings. No hiccups. And Left 4 Dead for the Steam on Steam as well. And I had an account before. So I just retrieved old games like Day of Defeat Source and Counter-Strike Source. And let me know if you guys want to see some reviews on that. I can definitely do some gameplay footage and reviews of those games. Or... They're kind of old games. I can do more like play sessions. I can do some play sessions on the aluminum MacBook, give you guys an idea of how it runs. Uh, so I covered, I think I covered everything I really wanted to uh, talk about today. And I will definitely be getting these videos up. Uh, if not tonight, tomorrow for the EA Active review. And stay tuned, guys. I got a lot more coming. I already touched base on the camera that I used. A lot of you guys asked. And. And thanks a lot, guys. Thank you for subscribing. My subscriptions have gone way up. And I'm appreciating the fact that I'm putting good content out and you guys are liking it. And just because of that, I'm going to keep putting content out. You guys keep watching it. I was helped out by Ismi Morpheus to get my first batch of viewers to kind of inspire me to keep doing videos. And I'm going to keep putting them out as long as you guys keep watching them. So I'm up to 160 and change now. Up from, what, 40 or 50 after Ismi Morpheus gave me a nice little shout out. And I'll be putting some more up uh, later today, guys. So keep on subscribing, rate, and comment. And I'm going to keep bringing these videos, guys. All right? You take care.